Hey everybody, it is Sunday, November 15th, and it's time for my sketchbook review. Um, we're a little late this week just because uh, I really couldn't think of anything to draw, and I'm trying to get away from fan art, and it's just kind of been a blah inspiration week. So, um, I kind of held off on doing the video over the weekend because I really, really wanted to give myself a chance to do some, like, artwork artwork and, like, get something done for you guys. So that way there was a decent amount. And I think I'm kind of tapped out. So I'm going to go ahead and upload this as is. And it may be short, it may not be. Let's see how much I talk. Um, we're going to do the digital stuff first because I did some digital sketching this week. Um, I don't like showing in this format. I don't like using my camera to do it, but I'm going to go ahead and turn off my light here so there's not so much, uh, contrast, but, um, hmm, got to hold my camera and move this along. This is not the best way to do it, but, um, yeah, let me move some stuff out of the way here. <laughs> I wasn't planning on doing this, to be honest with you. I was just going to leave these out of the review, but they count. Um, first thing I got here, and I know that there's going to be some, uh, ickiness from the fact that, uh, it's a Cintiq screen on a digital camera, but first thing we got here is America and Virginia from Harp and Stars. Um, I've been working on some roleplay with these two with, uh, my OC Piper, and, uh, I really enjoy these two, um, they're twins, they're cute. And they're so completely different from one another that it's pretty awesome. So I enjoy them and it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, up here I got, I was kind of cartooning out uh, my one white haired character and the blonde haired dude that's always with her. And I, I don't know, I just kind of felt more like doing a cartoony version of them. So she looks like younger and he actually looks the same which sucks because <laughs> that wasn't what I was going for but again I was just drawing to draw I needed to get something else so I worked on it and then I was doing more uh forehead to forehead pictures because they're cute and I just kind of got sick of this so I quit I quit I quit I quit this is uh peep and this is boof and peep is short for Penelope and uh, this was actually an original concept I had quite a few years ago, back in 2011, I think. Um, me and a friend, the same friend who did, um, Woven Crowns with me, who, who is the little girl that I sometimes shot and actually have drawn, so you guys will see that. Um, it's the same, uh, writer, actually, who I worked with on this concept. I just never got around to doing it. We had some we had two really good concepts going and I just kind of flaked out because of nursing school. Um, but Penelope is um, really, really awesome. I really like the character, which is why I, when I was flipping through my folders, I was like, oh, I need to draw her more. So I decided to pull her out and kind of mess with her design a bit. Um, all of my designs are like in anime form because that's what I used to draw in and still draw in kind of typically. And... Uh, I'm kind of changing it up. I want to kind of modernize her design a little bit more like to my modern style, not like change up her actual design or anything like that. Um, so I'm going to be working with her, I think, a little bit more. Her and Clara and Delvin from Woven Crowns. So, you know. And then there's Boof, who, I don't know, looks kind of weird in this picture, but whatever. His chin's pretty massive. Actually, I think it's just because I left a little bit of white right there, but whatever. But um, I did a boof or a peep right here going WTF, and then I got boof over here with kind of his cockamamie grin, like he knows he's awesome. So whatever. And then I moved on to some woven crown stuff. This is Delvin. This is Clara. This right here is the summation of their entire relationship. Is he's just very happy go lucky. His eyes are a little messed up because I was trying to do some stuff with him that just wasn't working out. And she's always kind of got a sour expression um, as a child. It changes when she gets a little bit older, but for the most part, she's always got a sour expression. And part of it is she's just upset because everything comes so difficult to her, like every, being a lady and being a princess and everything. It's all difficult for her. She's not used to it. She's used to being allowed to kind of rule the roost, if you will. 
and now that she has to like learn her lessons and be a proper girl and everything like that she just hates it but he has no problem being a proper girl so and that's kind of frustrating to her I decided to do a princess lessons here he's over here he's got like three books no problem she can't even do one she's always getting hollered at now they wouldn't actually yell at her like that well they may or may not but I don't I don't know who would actually have been teaching her her princess lessons, but if it was uh, Luana, I think it's pronounced Luana, she wouldn't actually be yelling. She'd just be gently reminding. But that's it for my digital stuff this week. Um, I was just kind of scribbling this stuff out last night because I needed to do something. I was having a very rough, rough night, and this helped quite a bit. And then... I was live streaming it and then Picardo went down and I was like, oh, so I lost all inspiration to keep drawing. So I watched House instead. But let's move on to this, my sketchbook, because I did do some sketching in here, just not a whole lot. Um, let's find where we left off. There's Amy, there's Piper, there's America. I think we left off with America. So I actually finished this. I um, did not keep the artwork. I sent it off as a present um and i yeah i sent it off as a present i transferred it over to some bristol board and copic did in and sent it off as a present to somebody actually i sent it off as, to as a present to one of the creators so there you go ha um over here i was working on some clara stuff i was trying to get her facial facial uh, shape down again like this is my typical thing with her is I make the eyes way too big every single time and it's really annoying so I was trying to kind of pull myself away from that kind of make it smaller a little bit more um, not sad but stoic as a child unless she's like getting into trouble then it is no longer stoic <laughs> but whatever so I was just kind of messing with face shapes really I was this is like where the block started and it just never kind of left and it's still been there. I mean, I'm scribbling, but it's like, they're not full of life scribbles. They're just kind of blast scribbles. Same thing over here. I was working on, like I was putting, trying to draw Lily from Harp and Stars in a bonnet and I'm like, oh, didn't turn out good. So I was like, screw it. So then I went back to my human stuff. I was just kind of working on a figure here just to have funsies and nothing came of it. And then um, after I'd finished the America piece, I showed it to one of the other creators of Harper Stars. She really, really liked it. So I offered to do one of her OCs in um, Copics. So this is the sketch for that. I transferred it over and I uh, finished it. And I have since sent it off already um, because I don't like to sit on things that I owe people. I like to get them out as soon as possible, especially if I know that they have to travel far because I want to make sure that they get there and all that good fun stuff. So, uh, and this is Lily Teal. I kind of doodled a little bit of her, I believe last week or the week before, somewhere in there. And, uh, she's just kind of sitting in the window seat reading her book. Now, the cool thing about the book is once I colored it, I got to use my, um, I think I've got it. It's right here don't mind my nasty robe this uh metallic pen here which is just it turned out gorgeous like it really gave the piece something i kind of wish i had done more with it like the background and stuff but um i don't know i just i guess i kind of got lady like lady i got lazy and um i couldn't really figure out what to do with the background after a certain point and the colors that i wanted to use like all of my prismas are starting to dry up because they're so incredibly old and <sighs> it's sad but I mean really I plan to phase them out and replace them all with Copics but I can't afford to buy Copics right now I have no commissions coming in and all of my money is going out for tuition and uh, my NCLEX exam is going to be a few hundred dollars and I've got things to attend this upcoming winter like um, my pinning ceremony and I'm sure everyone's gonna want to go to dinner for that and that's gonna cost money and I have my Reviews that I have to start doing and those are free so I'm not too worried about that But just the fact that I'm not working is really getting to me Like if I was bringing in money through commissions or something it'd be a different story But right now I'm just like oh Christmas is coming and I have no money Everything is going towards house payments and tuition right now <laughs> sucks <laughs> But I guess that's the way the cookie crumbles, but awfully sad stuff. So anyway, but 
as I'm doing free art for everybody. So yeah, I'm kind of doing it to myself, but whatever. Um, but yeah, so this got sent off and it was really, I was really happy with this one, how it turned out. Like her face in particular just turned out exactly the way I wanted to. Like it was so soft and like kind and that's kind of what I wanted to portray with her. So totally happy about that. Um, I was drawing a mermaid and, uh, I think I was reading a horoscope and they were talking about the different mermaid types per uh, astrological sign and they said something about Sagittarius and that's what I am. Uh, having like very colorful sort of fanny, flary, ombre, if you want to, I still don't know how to say that word, I should look it up one of these days, uh, fin colors. And I was like, oh, let's make this really awesome looking mermaid and I'm going to color it and it's going to be amazing. And then I got to sketch and I was like, eh, I don't want to do it anymore. Mm. So. Yeah, her arm, way too small for her body. Yes, yes, that's how I roll. But yeah, oh, I'm sorry. I meant to sleep a little bit more today and Aaron woke me up, so it didn't happen. So I'm kind of sad. And then, and then, I got into all this, like, I got, I did get a little bit of inspiration in that I wanted to draw embracing. I wanted to draw couples embracing. I was like, well, I need to pick some couples. So, of course, I'm going with Lacerra and Piper because right now they're just, they're my OTP. Um, and this one turned out so good. I felt like I needed to ink it. So I did. Um, I mean, his ear is quite a bit messed up, but um, eh, it's just a kind of a, ink to sketch so I'm not worried about it other than that I think it turned out really really good um his clothing just turned out oh and it turned out so good I'm so happy with it uh but the inking on it is a bit sloppy I just kind of went at it and I was like I don't care I just need to do something I need to get my hand moving and I just need to start doing that again just keep my hand moving my problem is is again I'm trying to get away from fan art because I feel like I'm oversaturating myself with it granted I should just be drawing whatever comes to mind because I really really need to be um I need to keep my hand moving I need to keep the creative juices flowing but I just don't want to do other people's work all the time I'd like to be doing my own but the problem is is I don't like my own work so that is an issue. It is an issue that requires a tissue. But, whatever. But I'm still happy with this picture. I was actually very, very, very happy with it. I thought about actually scanning it and digitalizing it. But we'll see. I'm not really in a hurry. I've got other stuff that is taking priority right now. And then I had another couple embrace pose that I really liked. I don't know what's been... Maybe it's the ink. Um... And the pose itself turned out nice, but then I added the details and it just kind of went to hell in a handbasket. So I kind of quit. <laughs> this was supposed to be that white-haired chicken and blonde-haired dude. And then, of course, I defaulted back to a Piper and Lacerra picture and, you know, yep, yep, yep can't help it they're cute together I really really like I know that at some point I just will be over drawing them all the time but until then I'm sorry you guys just have to deal with little mice people in my sketchbooks honestly there's nothing wrong with it and I know that there's nothing wrong with it but like I do like to add new stuff every now and then so I have to move some stuff here because I have to turn it sideways and then I just was drawing blobs because honestly, this is this was the level of blocked that I was. I just started drawing blobs with like no arms and happy faces and sad faces and excited faces and contemplative faces, whatever. And then human Amy, even though it, I don't know, it does look like her, I guess. But it's the same pose as the stripper pose from my um, Inktober. And I, as I was drawing it, I was like, oh, it is exactly that. And I was like, well, crap, whatever. I'm just going to make it a human Amy. And then I just kind of went from there. Yeah, my straight pull there. I don't know. Again, I was just trying to keep my hand moving, trying to get something, force something out. Really, I shouldn't be forcing anything out, but it is what it is. And when things started picking up, like last night, after I watched a couple episodes of House, I started feeling a little bit better. And um, I started picking up uh, Boof and Peep again. Now, honestly, he's, and somebody, somebody actually kind of got on me because I do draw a lot of pictures where it looks like the girls don't want the guys touching them. And I don't think that these people quite know me very well. And that's fine because honestly, my characters 
But when it comes to physical contact and all that crap, if they don't want to be touched, they won't be touched. And that's the way it is. So, like, I don't want people thinking that I'm, like, into this thing where, like, guys just manhandle women or anything like that. I honestly don't know where it's coming from. And I don't know why people are, like, so up in arms about it. But I guess they are. But again, you know, these people don't come talk to me about it. I'm hearing this all through the grapevine, so whatever. But point being is that these two actually have a very good relationship. Even though it kind of looks like he's always got ulterior motives. He really doesn't. He's just that kind of guy. He always looks like he's up to trouble. And that's just his personality. He is a trickster. And that is exactly how he was designed. She, on the other hand, is very nice, very innocent. But she's also very analytical, very cautious. So despite the fact that he's always messing with her, she keeps him in check. Just throwing that out there. Y'all don't need to be thinking I'm some sort of weirdo, whatever. And if you've, again, got a problem, please stop watching my stuff because I don't like hearing about how everyone's so offended. <sighs> I thought I made that clear like two weeks ago, but I guess not. And then there's these little chibis of them, which is really, really cute. I really liked it. It turned out like I was just screwing around, just doodling, wasn't paying attention. And, um, yeah. He's actually very possessed, not possessive, but protective. There's a difference because she could take care of herself and she, he knows that. He's actually, if anything, he's a bum, but every now and then he gets a little bit defensive of her. Yeah. It's kind of a creepy chibi though, because like his eyes are weird. <laughs> I don't know. I'm looking at it through the viewfinder. I'm like, that is super creepy. Look at them. Look at them eyes. But I guess they're supposed to be, they're supposed to unsettle you a little bit. But all right, um, I guess that's everything this week. There's nothing past this point. I just haven't been feeling it. I think what I'm going to start doing is looking for prompts or something and try to um, do art for those. Um, God, I just can't get over how cute. Like, it's so simple. You don't even have to see her face. And it's just such an impactful piece. Look at it. Look at these two. Ugh. Whatever. Whatever. The fact that they came together so sporadically is hilarious to me, but whatever. But, alright, that is it for this week. If you guys liked what you saw, please feel free to like and subscribe and comment below. Um, it's kind of getting towards that point of the year where things are about to get really hectic for me. Um, I do have a 10-page paper that's due. This, it's actually due on my birthday. Ha ha ha. And a presentation. Ha ha ha. And I have an exam that day. Ha ha ha. So my birthday is pretty much gonna suck. But um, I'm getting into like my deep clinicals now. So like I'm gonna have to start picking up multiple patients and doing all the work and all of that good fun stuff which is fine I need to do it I'm studying for my NCLEXs I haven't been doing well on my HESIs so there's a lot of stuff that's going to be going on that's really going to be pulling me away from drawing but at the same time I want to keep drawing because it's what keeps me sane and it helps that I've got a friend who uh has started picking up Copics and she's doing art so she's like sending me um pictures all the time and I'm so happy for that because it kind of inspires me to keep going and keep doing stuff um, but it's about to get really hectic. I've got family obligations. I've got school obligations. The end of the year, my birthday, Aaron's birthday, his mom's birthday, there's anniversaries. It's like, I don't understand why the last two months of the year have to be the ones that are so jam-packed. Not to mention I haven't done a lick of Christmas shopping, which is driving me insane. Usually by now I've got it done, but I don't have time to go to the flipping store or money to go to the flipping store. It's all going on credit card and that's just going to destroy me as a person. Ugh. But anyway, all right, so enough of that, enough of my boohoos. Um, again, if you guys like what you saw, go ahead, feel free to like and subscribe, comment below. Hey, you know what? If you guys got prompts, Toss some prompts down there. I'll take a look at them and see what I can do. Because I'll tell you what, I'm just blocked and I don't want to do something like, oh, listen to some music and draw what you hear. Like, yeah, I hate that stuff. So just toss some prompts in the comments below if you feel like doing it and I'll see what I can do. Maybe next week you guys will see your prompt. Ooh, wouldn't that be fun? But all right, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next sketchbook review.